Aloha friends, welcome back to A Simply Simple Life. Today I will be sharing a secret recipe with you guys from Double Tree Signature Cookie recipe that they release because of the shelter in place. Now a lot of companies are releasing uh, secret recipes like Disney are have released a few of them. I believe it's like four recipes so far and I am going to make every single one of those recipes and uh, film with you guys and share with you guys those recipe. I've already done a uh, churros recipe and then I added my own touch in there of um, using the ube flavor and that is such an amazing recipe so that will be my my go-to recipe for churros for sure today it's going to be the double tree signature cookie recipe that uh, double tree has released their famous cookie i will go ahead and put into the description box of the actual recipe this is just going to be for one batch so i'm just going to copy the recipe um, as it says so it's going to be half a pound of butter three quarter cup plus one tablespoon of sugar and then three fourth cup packed light brown sugar two large eggs one and a quarter teaspoons vanilla extract one teaspoon uh, lemon juice I did not have any fresh lemon so I just opt for this because like I said this is because of uh, shelter in place so I did not want to have to step out to the store and then uh, two and a quarter cups flour and then half cups rolled oats and then also a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of cinnamon. Okay? And then here's the Nestle Toll House Semi-Sweet Chocolate Chips. They did recommend using the Nestle Toll House, so I went ahead and got that. And then also the family does not like walnuts, but the recipe does call for walnuts. So I'm just going to make a couple batches that has the walnuts because I do like walnuts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, first step, the recipe says cream, butter, sugar, and brown sugar in the bowl of a stand mixer on medium speed for about two minutes. So I got my two butters there. Excuse my fingers. I had watermelon um, lihing mui. Okay, we're going to place it up. And then we're going to go ahead and cream it for about two minutes. So I went ahead and turned it off. The, the butter and the sugar and the brown sugar is pretty creamed. I did it for about two minutes and then I added my vanilla. Now I'm going to go ahead and add also my lemon. It says the fresh lemon juice but I'm using the imitation lemon juice that I have because I did not want to have to go to the store. And then I'm going to put that on medium low and then add eggs one at a time. Add eggs, vanilla, and lemon juice. Blending with mixer, low speed for 30 seconds. Then medium speed for about two minutes until light and fluffy, scraping the um, edge of the bowl. Okay. I went ahead and turned it off. The last thing it says is with mixer and low speed, add the flour, oats, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with the oats. I don't trust myself, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and lower this, add in the flour, okay, and then I'm going to put in the baking soda, the salt, okay, and then it also um, called for a, just a pinch of the cinnamon, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this in low heat, usually the flour I would put it like a little bit at a time, but I'm just following the recipe. And then it just says just to do it for about 45 seconds. Do not over mix on low. I went ahead and took the bowl out of the stand mixer, scraped out the sides, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the semi-sweet chocolate. It says uh, two and two-thirds cup of the semi-sweet it's actually like the whole bag of the the toll house the small bag so it's going to be the it's going to be the 12 ounce bag of the toll house semi-sweet so it's perfect size i'm gonna go ahead and dump it in i'm not gonna add the walnuts because i have danielle that's allergic but i do like walnuts so i'm gonna put this to the side um during like the last batch 
Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and mix this together, not with the stand mixer, but with a wooden spoon. All right, I preheated the oven to 300 degrees, and then I'm going to bake it for about 20 to 23 minutes, or until the edges are golden brown and center is still soft. And then I'm going to portion the dough. Uh, three tablespoons scoop onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and about two inches apart. Alright, I went ahead and prep up my cookie sheet. I'm going to go ahead and put it into the oven and then, like I said, bake it for 20 to 23 minutes. Jonathan, I'll go after you. I hope I don't drop the cookies. Ooh, open up for me. Look at them cookies. Oh, Queen needs her entrance. <laughs> All right.